So in this problem, they want you to describe the graph of h of x is equal to 1 over x plus 6 and how that can be obtained from the graph of f of x equal to 1 over x. So what they're kind of telling you in this case is, all right, I've got a base function, and that base function is my f of x equal to 1 over x. And so that's what we actually want to do. All right, so in our function h of x equal to 1 over x plus 6, what does it look like we're doing? Well, our base function there is going to be 1 over x. So that is our base function. So this thing looks like f of x plus 6. Now, kind of when we write it in this form, what we're seeing is now this adding on to the end looks like a vertical translation. And we're going to translate vertically up by six units. Okay, so that's what's going to happen there. So um, how we can obtain that graph is just we're going to translate vertically six units. All right, so we can look and see what happens when we just put in our regular function. So if we put in 1 over x, we're going to do a graph that looks something like this. And then if we come along and put in the other function that they wanted us, so that one was going to be h of x equal to 1 over x, and then we add 6 onto the end, well, that gives us the green graph that we've got there. And so if we just kind of compare each one of those to see, well, what happened? Our original function, and then if we turn off the original function, turn off the new function, we see what actually happened there. Well, it does look like we just take something and we are sliding, we are translating that graph from down here on the x-axis up six units to its new position. And so that's really all that's happening whenever we're kind of adding on that plus 6 on the end. So one way we can kind of see this is to graph both functions and then kind of compare what's really going on as we move from one to the other.